Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to your occupants pushing his word in sincerity and in truth. Uh, back with another lesson. And uh, the elder, uh, Yashawamba, GMS Dallas, did a video, I believe, the other day about this video from Good Fight Ministries dealing with. Uh, they sold their souls <laughs> for the Super Bowl. It's just basically uh, E being corny as hell, accusing uh, Jake. All right. As though they're the worst thing in the world. A bunch of old, out of shape uh, <laughs> music artists. But uh, first, I want to start off with saying I've been seeing a lot of homeless uh, Idumians everywhere, man. A lot of homeless Idumians everywhere. All throughout, you know, the, the suburbs of the Chicagoland area, I've been seeing them holding their signs, begging, uh, asking for a handout. All right. I start off with that because this system and these people are falling fast. And the only thing they can do is point the finger at us when you would think if they had any brain cells, they would see that the elite of their own people are destroying uh the shore in their system, the shore in their way of life, the shore in their economy. All right. Basically uh, reducing their buying power and uh, hey, 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 setting them up to fail, man. All right. Even forced them to take, you know, a that zombie juice. Now, this is a good fight ministry. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's an Edomite site. And uh, if you look through his videos, you know, the highest trending video is when he went and basically talked about you know jake man all right with over a hundred thousand views because we are we're the salt of the earth man all right we're the ones that's going to draw the most attention you see now uh eventually you know us in the know know that uh we're going to be accused on a high level demonized on a high level because uh that time must come is written about but right now this is a light thing but it's going to roll into something uh, more and more major. But to deal with those homeless, <laughs> those homeless Idumians, let me get this scripture right here. This is Deuteronomy 30 and 6. It says that the Lord will, the Lord power will circumcise thine heart and the heart of uh, thy seed to love the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live. And this is a covenant that the Heavenly Father through his son has made with the uh, children of Israel. You can read about this in Hebrews, the uh, eighth chapter, when he basically take away that st stony heart and give us a fleshly heart so we can truly live. All right. And get out of this flesh, uh, this body of uh, sin. But the point is in verse seven, and the Lord will put all these curses upon thine enemies and upon them <clears throat> that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Right. And these are the people uh, that hate thee. When you listen to the, the madness, like I said, I suggest you go watch uh, Elder Joshua Wumble Breakdown. Did an excellent video. How uh, when it gets to the part about the Israelites, he goes into Kendrick Lamar and, and basically to say it's false doctrine that you uh, a that you so-called blacks in America could ever be an Israelite, man. You know, he's saying it's far fetched. It's not real. The true people are in that land, which those people over there, as we we covered a million times, all the brothers have have covered a million times. If you truly know the Bible. You know, the prophecies and and how you're supposed to get that land does not match uh, the per se people that's over there right now. All right. That's that's crystal clear. It's not those people. But anyway, as you as you go through this video and listen to it. All right. Uh, you know, he goes into uh, <laughs> uh, he calls us the black Hebrews lights and tries tries to link us to Freemasonry. Which, you know, we go into and oppose, uh, you know, mightily if you've done any research on us. All right. But let's keep moving. Let's go into the book of uh, Job 20 and 10, because this man is truly uh, uh, through. Right. Job 20 and 10. His children shall seek to please the poor and his hands shall restore their goods. And, you know, it comes to a point in the video where he talks about all joining hands and coming together and <clears throat> salvation is for everybody, which is not a biblical principle. Salvation is for 
a specific set of people, all right, who was chosen, all right, by the Heavenly Father to be his people. And through the sacrifice of uh, his son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, uh, we were uh, able to take part in that second covenant. Uh, verse 11, his bones are full of the sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. The wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue, though he spare it and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth. Meaning hey, hey, this man is going to be a devil to the end, man. And a lot of our people, a lot of our people uh, fall for this madness, man. They trust in this damn demon. All right. I got an auntie a, out in, uh, in Arkansas. Talked to her the other day. And she was telling me about uh, <laughs> she said all three hits of that zombie juice and how each time she took it, she felt sicker and sicker. But, you know, certain people in your family, you're not going to be able to save, man. These people are absolutely gone. She trusts in this system. She trusts whatever the doctors tell her. And she don't want to hear no different. So it's nothing you can do. You have to come to, to the, the, the matter of fact that the Lord uh, is only dealing with the elect of the children of Israel, period, man. And if you're not in that right now, uh, hey, you're going to get caught out there, man. But let's stay on this. Stay on the topic, man. Because this guy, this guy is done, man. His kingdom is fallen. And the only thing he can do now is. Hey, is uh, hope for salvation hey, and try to tell on us and try to tell how wicked we are, man. When this guy is the devil of fucking earth, man. All right. You have all these so-called uh, what, what do you call it? You know, uh, fringe media or, or uh, conspiracy uh, theorist media who love to, to run their mouth about uh, BLM or La Raza and how racist everybody is towards <laughs> towards our doomians all day. But at the end of the day, all these big global groups, uh, whether it's Bilderberg, uh, trilateral, community, all this bullshit is run by what? Idumians, man. The whole New World Order is run by Idumians. All right. You had, uh, I believe the guy had passed, this guy named Jordan Maxwell. He used to be a video on YouTube and he he, he flat out said it like the power structure is a, is a Edomite power structure. Right. But he used the you know the W word, but <clears throat> he said it flat out. He's like it ain't Asian, it ain't African, it ain't no other so-called group. <clears throat> the people that's doing this on the earth is uh you know the, the Idumians, man, the Edomites, and there's no getting around it. All right, these people are wicked of the earth that the Bible describes. You can't get around it. These are the same ones that's gonna bring you that mark <laughs> written about in, in the Book of Revelation. It's crystal clear. This is Jeremiah 3 and 23. Truly in vain, the salvation hoped for from the hills and from the multitude of the mountains. Truly in the Lord, our power is salvation of Israel. Right. So mountain hills <clears throat> define these other governments and ruling bodies outside of the nation of Israel. In vain is salvation hope uh, for from these people, these these wacky, tacky Christians that uh, <laughs> that push this narrative. Of accepting Jesus Christ, hey, these people are going to be rudely uh, disappointed in that day and in that time. All right, the Lord is going to get down on His society and His society, and He's going to be destroyed right along with it, man. And His false idol, uh, Jesus Christ. All right, true name of the Lord is Yah uh in the Hebrew. Now let's uh, let's keep going. Let's go into the book. Of uh, Revelation chapter 12, verse 9, it says, And the great dragon was cast out, uh, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. So when you listen to this guy, <laughs> he talks so bad about the Israelites, like we're uh, a ca causing uh, the food shortage, we're causing uh, you to have your rights taken, <laughs> we're causing you to. Uh, be put out of, you know, establishments if you don't get your zombie pass like we're doing all that. No, it's the damn devil doing all that. <clears throat> but he won't he won't say that because, you know, it's of his own kind. So we expect it. It says devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out on the earth and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in, in heaven. Now is come salvation and the shrimp and shrimp and the kingdom of our power and the power of uh, the anointed. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, right? That devil, that Satan, 
which is uh, the Idumians, man. They represent the physical counterpart of the spiritual uh, demon Satan today, right? <clears throat> Just for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night, right? And there's a lot of accusing in this video. But he's not going to talk about uh, who runs these media companies that employ these people, who signs these people, who runs the music industry, who runs Hollywood. He's not going to talk about them people, the issues and the small hats. <laughs> but he's going to accuse these guys, man, these low level uh, uh, boule ass niggas. Right. It's, it's a it's a joke at the end of the day, man. All right. And these Christians are absolutely through. And you're going to see more and more attempts to address us, man, because we're we're that uh, elephant in the room. So you can understand. Uh, let's end this in the book of uh, Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse uh, 10. It says, never trust thine enemy for like as iron rusteth, So is his wickedness, though he humble himself and go crouching, uh, yet take good heed and be aware of him. Be aware of him. Uh, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou had wiped the looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. So don't be surprised if you have a lot of these guys, the vocab maloners, uh, even more and more try to reach out and co-op uh, a the truth, man, which they can't do. All right. But don't be surprised, man. They send more of their agents more and more. All right. Because they're going to need somebody to blame when the system and this uh, in their world collapses, which is by design. Uh, verse 12, set, not, set him not by thee, lest when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. Right? And, they, and they've done that, man. They spiritually have already done that. You look who's in the land of, in the, uh, land of uh, Israel right now. It's not the true Israelites. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. Who will pity a charm charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beasts? Because they're filling, you know, uh, the congregations and the people leaving these Catholic churches, Christian churches, because uh, Jake as a whole is waking up. And then you got the other Edomites and other heathen realizing that it's it's been a, you know, a, you know, a bunch of falsehoods, man. It's been one big charade. All right. They're not teaching what uh, what's truly in the scriptures because you got, you know, you got Christians now trying to break down the Bible, which they've never done before. You see. They give you John 3, 16. God loves the world. God is love. And they are closed the book. <laughs> but now, man, uh, as the, my uh, brother Jeremiah says, a GMS made everybody read again. man. He made the world read again. All right. Made uh, the, uh, these Christians. All right. Uh, pick up their Bible and start reading. And they are uh, a they're going to come to the a conclusion that a hey, something's up, man. <laughs> But that's the point. I don't want to ramble on anymore. I want to give uh, glory, praises, and honors to you. How about you, Shai? And shout a woman next time.